What's up universe? It's Julie, your kitchen coach, and welcome back to our kitchen for the last time. I know, but by the time you watch this video, we would have probably already moved out and I wanted to film this bittersweet video to say goodbye to the place that was on set for our Bits and Pieces cooking show for the past six years. And this is where we went from 1,000 to over 74,000 subscribers, one recipe at a time. So whether you've been with us for a whole long time or are just watching us now, and you wanna see me say goodbye to our kitchen and also get a little tour, then keep on watching. This is probably the cleanest my kitchen will ever be because we have just staged everything because we're still going through a lot of showings right now. Our place is on the market. It's been intense because I can't even properly cook anymore, which is why we're not rapidly putting out our videos. And I gotta keep it like spick and span, but it's hard because we're still living here and we're still doing life, even with a toddler. So I hope that you enjoy the sparkling clean kitchen while it lasts. And I wanted to <laughs> document it because it's not always like this. Do you guys remember our kitchen tour video? When we first moved here, I was so excited that I went around and showed you all the little pieces of our kitchen. So if you wanna go back and watch that, that's like vintage Julie. I was really happy to move here to have our own set for our cooking show. I can't help it that whenever we go to a new place now, like I only see it in the form of a set. It's no longer really just my kitchen. It's like somewhere where I can invite you guys to come and see, and I hope that I can demonstrate my instructions clearly. But do you remember my first episode I ever filmed here? I remember it very clearly. It was our spaghetti squash with easy meat sauce. And it's still one of our most popular videos to this day. I was just really happy to finally have my own space that I could call my own. Because when we moved here from California to Chicago, we first lived with Joe's parents. So if you actually see the first half of our first season of our cooking show, it's a different set entirely. It's a really nice kitchen and it was Joe's parents' house. And although it was really nice to film there, we had a lot of room to spread out, I didn't have any of my own kitchen utensils or cookware and it felt a little bit strange and removed. And not only that, but we had to be very diligent about setting up and breaking down and putting it back into order. So now that we had our own place, I remember even telling you in that video, for those of you who follow our blog, you know that we were shooting our first few episodes of Bits and Pieces in my mother-in-law's kitchen. I know it's a nice kitchen and it's kind of set up for a cooking show, so it really worked. But at the same time, we're finally in our own place and it feels really good because, I don't know, like I have all my old stuff now. I was, I was without it. It was all in boxes and everything. So now it's really nice to have my own stuff and cook quietly in the kitchen with the snow falling. And if you didn't watch our previous kitchen tour video when we first moved in, then you might have not realized that we actually renovated this whole kitchen. And because of our HOA rules, there were certain things we couldn't do, like we couldn't open up walls and, you know, or even the entryway or anything like that. And the square footage of like the counter space, everything was very particular, but we used what we could. We broke down everything. So it's all new cabinets, all new countertops. The only thing we didn't change was the floor. It is what it is. I still remember that feeling of having white cabinets and just even kind of like that granite countertop feeling. But one thing I really noticed was that we needed some sort of table or something like this because the way that our kitchen is built is kind of like railroad style where I didn't know where to film from, especially like I didn't want to just like chop like this and then constantly turn and talk like that. So what we did was get a table that's counter height and we brought it over here right now. It's over there. And now it's our little sitting area or breakfast nook, mostly for staging, but now that it's there, we kind of do use it for breakfast and it's nice. Sometimes we do Zoom meetings there and have our little coffee. And I can't even believe that Joe fit over there to begin with. Every time Joe filmed here, he was literally smashed against the window, like all the way back here, like butt to the window, as far as you can go, because there's not much space. And he still had to work with two lights, a ring light, two separate cameras on tripods, somehow squished like the width of this table. And he was there maneuvering everything. And I always felt bad for him, but he did a good job. 
And that's kind of the way we filmed it. I think having a little bit of extra space in our new place will be a bonus. I'm a little worried because the layout isn't quite perfect. It's not something that I would have normally picked out, but I'm hoping we'll be creative just like we were with this space and kind of scrappy and figure out a way to still present a story to you. And here is our lovely little pantry. I don't know, it's not the cleanest right now. Oh, it's not too bad. But we're still living here, so we still have all our food here. I went through the trouble of putting these labels here, which ironically, I have still kept like this for the past six years. Like, I still keep the categories exactly the way they are. The one thing that I think I will really miss is the pull out drawers of this, because we custom built this too. This is from Ikea, but I mean, we added in the drawers and this has been a lifesaver so that something doesn't get buried to the back of the pantry. And I think I showed this to you in our video, but it has been really useful, especially for these heavier, bigger items. I definitely will miss this because our new pantry, I believe is just kind of like a standard, like closet style pantry and might be smaller. I don't know, maybe we'll have to custom build something over there. And do you guys remember when we first hit our 1000 subscribers, we built that audience space one subscriber at a time with no gimmicks or anything. So it was such a success to us. And we started YouTube back in the day when there wasn't any help or anything. So reaching 1000 subscribers was a huge deal to us. We were so excited that we did our spicy ramen challenge here. We were celebrating our 1000 subscribers. We were so happy and exuberant. And you gotta give that video a watch cause it's kind of a fun one. It's like a vintage Joe and Julie, but everyone still loves it. And ever since that video, we were trying to be good about celebrating all of our milestones. I forget the last one we did, but we definitely stopped around like 20,000. And I don't know why, because every single milestone is such a huge monument for us. And I can't believe at this moment in time that we've reached over 74,000. That seems so wild compared to the thousand that we had. You know when you watch a sitcom and you always wonder what's on the other side of that house or that other side of that kitchen table? I've always been so curious what it would look like. Well, this is the back end and I know you see it sometimes, but everyone always wonders what's beyond that white counter that I talked about. It's usually just the window and nothing else, but right now it's our little breakfast area. And I also have this kitchen cart that we bought because I didn't have enough pantry space, but this has been kind of like our cereal and breakfast cart, rice, pasta, things like that. So that's all that is, because there's not much space here. This is just a window, like a sliding door, and it leads to our balcony. So we don't have a backyard, we just have a balcony. And you know, unfortunately we never utilized it. Sometimes Lincoln comes out here to play. Um, sometimes when it's snowing, he plays in the snow or his monster trucks, we had a water table. Right now for staging, hi garbage truck. For, <laughs> for staging we purposes, we have nothing here. But I'm excited to find patio furniture for our new place and also a grill. I know that this is not my kitchen but this is an extension of my kitchen. It was filled with two huge metal racks and all this kitchen equipment and also food styling stuff. So this is our racks. You've probably seen them in our last kitchen tour or on the blog. These have been one of our best investments because everywhere we went, there was not enough storage space. And the same goes here. Um, this is what I kind of use as what I call our prop shelf. So it was like, my kind of more stylish plates and utensils. And it was because I have more kitchen equipment and tools and supplies than the average bear. I pretty much have like everything that you could think of from like sous vide to air fryer. So I had nowhere to put it. As you can tell, our kitchen isn't the hugest and there's not a lot of storage space. So we made this into our makeshift kitchen. This was a beast to take down and remove all our stuff because this is what normal people would have, kind of like a dining area, but we kind of use it as our glorified overspill kitchen and everyone, all my friends knew that. So this table is an example of that. This was something that we've had in since California and we brought cross country with us and has been our table ever since. In my mind, I always thought it was a placeholder or something that we would eventually replace when we started our family but it hasn't. And so now we just perch Lincoln up on this high table too. But I think when we move to our new place, we're gonna get an actual table. This will maybe still be part of our set somehow, but I just don't know where. 
it's really weird that we don't have our metal racks anymore and instead we just put this picture up. But by the way, I thrifted this recently because I'm kind of into that vintage botanic illustration look. And so I thought that was kind of cute. If you want to follow my adventures in decorating our new place, our kitchen and otherwise, then follow us on our second channel. It's Life with Julie Yoon. And we have some videos up there right now. I kind of took a pause so that I could focus on this main channel. But I think that with us moving and decorating and me thrifting and kind of gathering the stuff for our house, I'm excited to share that with you. So if you want to follow that adventure, make sure you push that subscribe button on Life with Julie Yoon. I'll leave it down below. And then you can follow my adventures. And you know this wall? I still remember the day that Joe was up here trying to put this gold decal on. And I still remember finding it on sale and being kind of like, this is so weird to put up in your house as like main decor, but for us, it fits. It's kind of like that contemporary fun feel. I still remember asking you guys, what should I put on this blank wall? Because from the kitchen, you can actually see in our videos, it was like blank, it was boring. I found this on clearance too, this little mirror, but I still like it because I feel like it adds a fun flavor to our wall and it's like a conversation piece. But from the background of our videos, you can always see a little bit of shimmer and shine. So I like that. And I know some of you suggested maybe putting a shelf or putting like, you know, like a chalkboard or some big posters or something, but I like this. What's funny is when we first got this table and we had this space with the metal racks, I thought this was gonna be our main filming space because I thought, oh, like the kitchen is too small and I don't know where we're gonna be able to film. Like we did a couple of episodes from there, but it just didn't naturally like lend to filming here. But I do have fond memories of just even like taking our photo shoot for Chicago Parent Magazine. Do you guys remember that I was asked to be featured in there? And so it was like my little photo shoot with Lincoln. And so I still find that to be so sweet. And he, the photographer, chose this set. I feel like having the metal racks and this table kind of made it known that I was a chef. Anyone who walked into the house, they knew that like 60% of our house was kitchen. <laughs> This is our artwork that travels with us, and I still like this guy. It's like a little Coca-Cola vintage ad. Not only do I like it because the way it looks, I love anything vintage, but I also like that it's an ad. And we got this from Atlanta, where the Coca-Cola headquarters and museum is, and that kind of gives me fond memories. It was my first visit there, but that's actually when I met Joe, not in Atlanta, but is when he was living in Atlanta um, for grad school for art direction. And I was living in New York City for fashion design, and we met at that time. Um, long story, if you want to get into it, then subscribe to Life with Julie and I'll do a little talk about how we met. But this is why I, I find it so cute every time I see it makes me happy. How could I not talk about my eat sign? I still remember taking these little wooden pieces out into the garage and spray painting them. And I didn't do such a great job, so Joe even came out and did another coat. I still remember that. And it's been up here for the past six years. And it's such a little staple to us that I couldn't bear the thought of bringing it down even for our showings and stagings because it's kind of funny because I know that the people who are coming to look at our place in hopes of buying it, they probably don't even know what they're walking into. They're walking into six years of history, a set of like almost like a legit TV show that we made for you guys. So I just couldn't bring it down. Maybe I will, or maybe it'll only come down right when I move. I feel like it's like the last episode of Friends and like that little <laughs> framed picture of the keyhole and the door is still there. And that's kind of like what this is for me. I think it's funny that even though I took the time to clear away all my appliances, like my air fryer, my rice cooker, things that I usually keep, I even put away my utensil bin. Like anything I usually have out on my countertop, I put away, <laughs> but I could couldn't bear putting away my coffee maker. So the Keurig is always out because I just love coffee so much. And by the way, I kept this out too in my little cabinet. And this the cutest little teacup. Yeah, this is um, Chip from Beauty and the Beast. My sister got this for me from Disney World and I just love it and I keep it in here because my clear cabinets, I just thought it'd be cute for staging. Over here, it's kind of sad. This is why I said it's bittersweet because we took down our subscribe button and all our travel magnets and everything. Right now it's hiding in my drawer. You know, some of you guys thought that it was a magnet, but it's not. It's just a piece of plywood that I painted and put on these subscribe things and I just stuck it on with magnets and it was here. So guys, even if it's not there, remember to push subscribe. You guys know how much I love to thrift because my motto is if I can find it secondhand first, I'll do that. So I recently found this little funny rooster 
When I brought it home, Joe was just cracking up, but I'm like, I don't know why, but I had to bring him home. It's not like I like birds or roosters that much, but he has a very like mid-century look to him. And then I looked him up and actually he is from the 50s. I also thrifted this little marble turntable, this little Lazy Susan. I couldn't believe it. This is real marble and I just found it at the thrift store for a few bucks. I was like, zoink! And it's funny because I have my KitchenAid stand mixer sitting right here, but you can notice that there's no bowl or base because I thought it looked messy and too bulky. This is really just for staging. And I do want to invest in one of those clear bowls that I always talk about so you can actually see the ingredients inside my bowl. I love this little like wicker basket with the curved lines. Um, I found this, you know that baskets are like one of the best things you can find at the thrift store and for so cheap because especially nowadays wicker, rattan, wood, all that stuff is like all the rage but you can find it for so cheap at the thrift store and it has so much character. So now you guys know that I'm legit and I always thrift my stuff and then use it around the house. I don't just hoard it, I only thrift what I absolutely love and I use it around the house. So that's kind of like a secret passion of mine. That's why I always talk about it and I'm gonna share more about that in our second channel. I guess I should address why we're moving. I mean, it's nothing dramatic. We're gonna be staying in state. We're just moving to a bigger home and I feel so thankful for that because especially during pandemic life with a toddler, you realize you kind of need that space. So we'll finally have like a backyard and a basement and the kitchen will be relatively still small, but it'll be kind of an open-ish concept. And because we'll have a patio, I'm happy that we'll probably be able to do some barbecuing episodes and things like that, things I wasn't able to do while we lived here. And I do think it will be challenging trying to come up with the setup of how to film there and I'm going to have to do some DIY projects and you know little tweaks to make it feel like my kitchen and my home. But it's sad that we're gonna be leaving this place even though I'm excited for more space because I feel like our fingerprints are all over this place and I may do with the little counter space and what, the little storage space that I had. It just worked for us. All of our good memories of starting the show, of changing our show, with the direction of our channel, trying something new, experimenting, it all happened here. So this is definitely history in this spot that I'm standing. And this is where we brought home Lincoln. You know, this is where he grew up and I've even filmed an episode or two with him as our guest star. And I wish I could have done more, but that's when all the moving process started to happen. And he, this is the only home that Lincoln knows. This is the only kitchen that he knows. But I can't wait to see what's in our next chapter. So if you enjoyed watching this, then please let me know by pushing a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell for notifications. And I can't wait for you to join us in our next chapter. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey,